Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yo, what's good? Not much, man. Just chilling out, you know. A lot of expenses today. Oh, what happened? I just bought a premiere. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit late to the party because everyone, everyone now has one. But uh, shit's good. No reason not to buy one. You know what I'm saying. Damn, how much you pay? Just over a hundred grand. Also, the price went up a little bit then. Yeah, it went like up thirteen thousand after I bought one. So yeah. Oh shit, that's good. I bought mine for like ninety three or some shit. Damn, not that bad. Not that yeah. Bad. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Fuck it, car is too good to pass the pass on it, honestly. The only problem with the car though is fucking too loud. Mm, not wrong. It is entirely all too loud. Can't be really stealthy with it, but you know. It's fu no, no, but it's like it's annoying loud. You know, like you remember yeah, you the BMW I had back in the days. It was loud, but this yeah. shit is fucking louder than that. Yeah, like. I, I, you know what? You can't really have a conversation with that car if you're trying to drive it around, you know? <laughs> I love I love talking like with somebody one on one and you get a car and you drive around the island, right? And you have this talk and you're kind of busy with your own self because you're driving, right? Yeah. But uh, you can't do that in the premiere because shit's too loud. You can't hear the other side. Oh, all. no. Trust me. I know. I know. And imagine when you were bringing in fucking Benji and stuff into your fucking car as well, you know? The screaming. He started like, yelling at you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. so you yeah, know, sorry. As straight straight to the point, right? Um, you know, haven't started the, the you know, where? Okay, let me formulate a sentence before I start speaking. <laughs> Got it. First meet up after uh, you know after this little break that we had away from everybody. Yeah. Uh, didn't really start good with each other, you know. Had some concerns and whatnot, but uh, now you seem like. Uh, all my concerns were really not, uh, didn't really have a good foundation on him, even though it felt in the moment sometimes that I was like entirely right about the situation. It's uh, not really like, I don't uh, think you were wrong with your concerns either, you know? I mean, yeah, the whole thing was that, uh, you, you seemed lost and didn't know what to do. Like I was sometimes, you know, and, uh, it felt like you had a lot of people influencing you and, um, Getting into shit uh, with people that are getting influenced from outside, it's just getting influenced by, the, by those people as well. And I, I didn't really, I wasn't really ready for that type of commitment. I was just, you know, on the lookout still for opportunities, especially since we were engaged previously, right? You know, being in a gang together and the whole that shebang, it, it didn't really seem like a choice. We yep. didn't really understand each other, but it, it don't really matter. What did matter is that it did seem like we weren't really good because you did say some shit that rubbed me the wrong way, but you know, it don't matter because they did it on purpose. Was... There you, there you go, there you go. Come but, on, you, know, you did the same to me, motherfucker. Come on, of like, course, of course, you, I, I know did, who you bro, are, you know you who gotta, I am, you know. But you got, you gotta press on the wound to see where it hurts, bro. That's yeah. literally what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always need and, to do that, you know what I mean? But yeah. like, there, there's That's, no bad blood with me. I, I gotta be honest with I you. I got if... no blood. I got no bad blood with you, man. Like, especially now, y you do shit what you love. You know what you want to do, and you're adamant in, in in your ways right now. So I don't see it changing, especially you know because a lot of shit I I thought was wrong, even though some of it was right. So fuck it, you know, there, there could be no bad blood because I understand entirely why you did what you did. And since you're doing what you're doing and it's yep. entirely understood by me, I have no reason to be feeling any sort of way about it. Then I'm, and I don't, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's good. No, I, I, I'm happy for that because I spoke to Reggie and Reggie said, you know, like something in the line of like he didn't know, but he didn't know if you felt like I felt some way about you, you know, and I just want to clear that up like. What happened back then happened back then, you know, I have I'm, I'm maybe the one motherfucker who hold grudges and I can be petty as fuck and you know that and you are the same. I think we are very much alike, you know, when it comes to yeah, shit. Yeah, that's why we gravitated towards each other back in the day, because <laughs> we're kind of the same, you know what I'm saying? Then again, I think we're we're grown up enough to understand, you know, when it goes too far and I let you be, you let me be and we moved on and I, th I think it's it's a good thing, you know, and I have nothing against you and I'm nothing against what the way you believe in stuff and the way you operate you know what i mean like you do you if that makes sense 
yeah, kind of, kind of the same sentiment here. You know, yeah. like it, it, may, it may have felt wrong in the moment, and yeah. something was said was, but ultimately, it's your own thing, and you do what you want to do with your own life. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So that was for me as well. It was kind of like you know, I. It's kind of like an opportunity. You jump on it. You, you know that, like you said, I was thinking all the thought you were saying to me, but I could not. I could not like think that way you know because i couldn't move forward if i was thinking that way so i was like okay i ivan do ivan i do me i do me and you know we move on but uh like yeah, i said i worked out well i want to clarify you know i have nothing against you or the way you operate i hope you understand that you know yeah listen uh it's not that i was convinced that you do it was just this unclear air, right? Because mm -hmm. we, we don't really speak with each other up until no. now. We didn't really like pick up a phone and call to each other because we're kind of leaving each other be. And every conversation had this little, uh, little looming tension. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds going to go wrong. So we just don't approach it. But <laughs> yeah. now we're talking about it and there's like, it's it's all whatever, you know, what, yeah. what happened up until this point. It's all literally whatever. So, you know, no, that I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Yeah. Uh, I may not be able to like bang for you sort of the, sort of way right but uh yeah. if there's anything little small things i could be like of help of you just let me know and maybe maybe i'll be there you know what i'm saying same goes for you as well i hope you understand that you know like we were once you know rolling together and i know that a lot of the boys and a lot of friends have spread their wings but i have nothing for love and i'm nothing for like i'm, I'm happy to see that, that that is the outcome you know and happy to see that people i was rolling with and maybe they learn a few things from me you know spread the wings and do their own thing you know and it's it's a good thing to see and no matter what if you're on the opposite side or know what the future brings you know we're still doing our thing you know yeah it's kind of it's kind of what it is man we're just doing yeah. our thing and you know listen it's better to be friends than to be enemies because god knows there's enough people willing to kill for no reason yeah you know, nowadays no, kind of ironic i'm saying that but you know whatever um <laughs> you only kill I'm, I'm sure you heard i'm sure you heard already heard why um i just had a road rage incident a couple of days ago some guy we collided with some guy and he was talking mad shit. at least i took it that way and i shot him down and tried to shoot his friend it was Ooh. some guy named flash he was with speedy and oh, we kind of like yeah we kind of like you know just uh we try to squash it immediately because uh we're looking to have no beef especially over some dumb shit like a road rage shooting you know so we gave him a shit bag gra grabbed him uh took him to the hospital speedy shows up at the hospital tries to pull guns start shooting people he got gunned down immediately no up in way still stalking crazy shit got gunned down twice more in the next 30 minutes crazy, crazy. that well, is crazy man yeah i mean it is what it is. Not proud of it, but it did happen. Oh, no, no, no. I, I love this story. This story is great. Flash is working for Speed and the boys basically slinging down at fucking Cypress, you know? And Oh, yeah, I know. I know where they live. I know what they do. I know how they operate, man. Listen, if nobody looking for blood, nobody looking for nope. beef, but if, if Speedy wants to press the issue and, and I'm going to get the green light, I'm going to live down in the Cypress. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't going to push a single bag of wheat there. I'm telling you right now. Damn. Okay. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. No, we're kind of like competing with them. I don't know if you know that, but... I figure that shit is kind of public because everybody who was doing anything like jewelry runs and fucking moonshine saw yeah. you there like literally living like with a tent and a campfire, you know, just doing wheat. Yeah, no, I was pushing down the Cypress and we were going against each other, you know, like, but... I wouldn't say Speedy oh, did it, but you... some of the boys, I I strongly believe they called the cops on me, basically. They went to that extent to get me off the fucking turf, so. Oh, everybody, listen, everybody does that. Motherfuckers will be saying, I don't snitch, I don't work with cops. Yeah. They go around the corner, they call the cops. No, no, I know this, you know, like, but I'm a little bit too old school. I, I don't give a fuck. If you call the cops on me, you do that, you know, I never sink that low. You know what I mean? Like, there's one common enemy I have with everybody, and that's the cops, you know, I don't, I don't do that. That is like, yeah. but whatever other people want to do, it's up to them. You know, I, I'm not judging. I understand people, you know, go to that length and that's on their table. But we're right now pushing up in Sandy, you know, and trying to hold the Cypress off our asses, basically. Keep ourselves, you know, doing our own thing. Then again, it brings a target to you back, you know. I feel like the whole fucking city is looking up there and be like, how the fuck are these guys pushing? 
Oh yeah, listen, uh, people like it's at the hundred percent. It's at the hundred percent. Yeah. And nobody knows what it does. And nobody, even even if you're gonna be completely honest and you pick somebody to tell them the whole truth about what a hundred on a turf does to people, they ain't gonna believe you because everybody, everybody's of a mindset. Why would these motherfuckers tell me? Because if it's gonna be some good, I'm gonna want it and I'm gonna yeah. want to take it from them. Yeah. So, then again, with stalemating fucking people on 30%, you, you know how it works, do you, Ivan? Uh, it's it's like a competition, I feel like. If if I say, uh, I pick like, um, what's it called, La Puerta, and I'll sling like 2,000 bags in two days there, then mm -hmm. I'll, I'm going to be pu be pushed up and everyone else is going to be pushed down. Yeah. It's, uh, it's correct, basically. But the problem right now is because everybody was out in the forest, you know, hunting. We were doing grime. You know, when this shit didn't pay, you know, everybody was doing everything else. While me and my boys, we were slinging weed for nothing. Made no money at all. The problem then, we have sold so many bags in our block. We are probably sold like, I think we're roughly between 70 and 90,000 baggies sold on the block, you know? Bro, don't no, no. I have hard time believing that no. you're actually telling me that's almost a hundred thousand baggies. Pushed. Yeah, yeah. We're pushing over four, five thousand baggies a day. How the fuck do you clean all that? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Beginning. You don't like everybody else. You don't. No, I you go just through other pile of money and you look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. And the thing that people don't realize, then you know, like if if we have around eighty thousand, you know, total or all time sold up there at 73 percent in cyprus is 73 percent of the eighty thousand. you know what i mean you could trust try to calculate i think that. i know i think i think i know what you're saying yeah okay all right that makes it yeah pretty, pretty, pretty much what you're saying is you pushed so much there ain't no chance anybody oh well yeah there is a chance you know you need to push more like when you're lower percentage you know it's it's harder for us to push you down than you for push up if that makes sense but the problem becomes that every day like if 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 the hundred percent is eighty thousand, every percent you are pushing you need to push 800 bags to get a percentage then again it's easier for you you know if you pushing from 50 to 51 you need 800 for us to push you from 51 to 50, we need to push, you know, 5,000. You see what I mean? Uh, that math barely makes any sense. And I don't think it actually needs to be a math. Because as far as I'm aware, I mean, listen, <laughs> companies like 50 motherfuckers. And a lot of the motherfuckers do things that, like, BSK boys will come help OTT. We have this cow Mao guy that a lives in Beer young. Park. There's like some ex Rust boys, you know, Smalls and Dre was helping you at some point, you know. It's like, there, there's a yeah, lot of people. One. And yeah. I'm not even mentioning people who just want to make some cash and they, you know, and they're going to be pushing there as well. So I don't think anybody right now would have the amount of pushers that you do. So it's not really a concern. Uh, no, it's not a concern. Never concerned either, but. The thing is, you know, you, you know people, you know Los Santos, you know, if they cannot fucking out push you, they will try to beat you, you know, so. You always need to watch I mean, over your back. As long as, as long as, as far as, as far as I'm aware, as when you did put, as, okay, let me formulate the sentence again. When you did push those backs, there's no way to bring you down other ways, other than actually out push you. Out push you. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the thing. That's the only way you can bring me down is to push more than I'm pushing. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> no, nah, well, you're able to like we like I'm going to be honest with you. We are not pushing that much like we, like you see me. I'm standing here. Boys are taking days off. You know, we were pushing a lot when we tried to get to 100. Yeah, me as in fucking uh, Cyprus, we were pushing like a lot a lot you know and that's why we are so far ahead because people stopped pushing there was no money you know so while we have been pushing and there was no money into this shit other people were hunting or doing grime and now you know yep. they they're so far behind that they need to push up you know so they will go up slowly but it will take time everyone's playing catch up i'm sure some people would willing be would willing to would be willing to like take a shortcut and try to yeah but and the... try to like 
choose a different method, but ultimately it, it, it ain't gonna help them. It's gonna slow you down and it needs to be a combined effort. What I'm saying is um, you need yeah. an operation sizes of which I don't think another one the city can allow. No, but the thing is like, if you're planning to do that, I gotta be honest with you, like I've thought this my, myself, you know, I, I've been thinking. So I'd be like, if I was another turf right now, what I would do, I will try to push myself up to 90. When I get to 90, then I could start to inflict some other shit, you know, to make me stop push, you know. That makes sense because you're close enough to get into the 100. But if you are under <laughs> under 80, there's no point for you, you know. You are like 20,000 bags away. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I do yeah. see. But, you know, ultimately for me, like, I know whatever effort's going to be. Even if we do get at 100, it's going to be an effort that takes... A lot of commitment and a lot of time. Yep. Time that could be otherwise spent more productively, even if we consider the amount of money that makes right now, which is quite insane, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, why a lot of people are in the game, you know? Yeah, yeah. And people switch up over their money like crazy. You have no idea. Yeah. Right. Are you into the weed game or no? Like, I got to 100 uh, with some free shit I got here and there just to be able to buy chips. And yeah. I'll probably sling here and there, but as I said, I'm in this for money, right? And uh, yeah, yeah. If I can make some cash here and there, I'll definitely do it. But it can't be a long-term commitment for no, me. No, no, no. But I already have one on my shoulders. No, no, no. I understand. But if you ever need to, like, I don't know how much you know this works, but if you're slinging somewhere, you need to make sure you sling the top strain. Basically, that's how you get the most money out of it. Yep. Otherwise, you're gonna be getting less money. Yeah. So. If you ever want to do some shit, you know, we have the top strain up in up in Sandy and we can get you on the HQ. And if you want to sling and make some extra cash, just tell me, right? I mean, um, question is, do I have to be on your HQ or you can have uh, or can I have an HQ of someone else's and just fucking push you can have an HQ of somebody else. But that HQ need to be connected to Sandy. Ah, OK. Yeah, it just needs to be a Sandy HQ. Got it. Yeah. So what's what's the prices we're talking about? Because you certainly ain't getting rid of that shit for free. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the street price is $67, basically. And I can get you baggies for $18. So you have a profit of 40, $49 per wait, bag. Wait, wait, wait. Eight, eight, $18 a bag. So you're telling me you you give me 100 baggies for 1800 bucks? Yep. Okay, that's actually quite good. No, like like we have we have good prices. I heard other turfs, you know, they, they charge more. Like people are barely making any money. A lot like, of people just charge half of whatever the push is gonna make. No, but that's the thing, you know, like I'm not like if I want to be greedy, I could be greedy, but then I will have no pushers pushing. And that is the problem with other turfs. You know, they're greedy, they see the money, and they don't realize, you know, like they need the quantum of the baggies on the turf. That's actually very enticing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, and a hundred baggies, you can push that in in forty minutes. Maybe it's sad. No, everywhere. No, some some turfs are really different from one another. Like no, if you're I... pushing on Grove, I'm gonna tell you right now, you be you be getting locals every like minute or two. If you be pushing somewhere like, I don't know. No, but that depends on your 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 personal rep with the guy. It's the same in Sandy. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we have a guy who work up in Sandy. You have your shit under the bridge. Okay. You're a. You, you know, you're Gucci with him, you come up to Sandy, you need to get your brownie points up with Wiper up there as well, you know? Okay, Can you so get that shit? That good? shit yeah. I calculated it's uh, 1250 bags to get uh, your rep to 100 at the local guy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I mean, that's, a, that's not big, that's not big effort, really. 1250 no, no, no. will go like in a day or two if you actually actively push. No, so if you get 100 bags, it's 1800, and then you get 49. Of 4,900 rolls basically in return. Mm. And that well, takes you 40 to 45 minutes to get rid of. Oh, um, did you see I put those things on, um, Pedro? Yeah, did, it, did you? Oh, they're probably done then. Um, might be. At least one of one or two of them should be. Yeah, but yeah. All right, that is good. That is good. Now we've been. I want to ask you some though. Yeah. And I understand if you don't want to tell me, because, you know, it, it, it's actually none of my business, but I'm fucking curious. Uh, consider it like a tea session. When mm -hmm. when I spoke with Dre, it was two days ago. 
Yeah. Uh, and like I asked him, I asked him about the thing he had and why he leaving. He mentioned something about the joke that didn't that people didn't really understand, and now they're spinning that shit. And w- w- what's the joke? Because he didn't tell me. A joke? Yeah, some sort of joke. He said. That's why he's leaving. Why? This house. Like, yeah, that's why he he like. But that is he, bullshit. He he's leaving this started. house because he's moving in with the manor. That has nothing to do with his joke. Okay. Well. Yeah. Like, I'm. I'm not particularly interested why he's leaving. Because at the end of the day, he does his shit, right? And yeah. I don't really care. I'm just fucking curious what the joke is. Because he he cared about it enough to mention it, but he didn't expand on it when I asked. Nobody else mentioned it at all. So, like, why, why, why would you even bring that up if it doesn't matter? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, when it comes to like, I have, n- I have nothing against Dre. You know, um, the only thing I have a little bit against is like a lot of some shit that's been said and been done. It's, it's questionable, and um, um. I don't know if the person is lying or if it's just forgetting stuff, but that happens. The joke, it was apparently, he he was the main grower, you know, he he was growing his weed. He's always doing that, you know, he did a fucking great job as well. He's one of the best one you have in the city, you know, Mm -hmm. Uh, he was working with me. We were doing our thing and everything was going good. Um, Then the whole fucking game changed, you know, more the in-house. With the operation, I don't know, you know how you grow shit and do stuff, but yeah, it moved in house. Um, he was sharing a lot of information with the manor. I knew that with Eli, he's working with the manor. I'm nothing against that, you know, because we were getting some information as well. But every information we got, we already knew that was the issue. But in Dre's eyes, you know, uh, Eli is uh. Eisenberg, he's the mastermind. He's the best of the best of the best. You can't find a better guy to do shit. He knows everything, and and they're kind of like you know Jesse, and he basically brought that shit up. While everything he's been giving us, we already knew, we already done. We're kind of like we knew that. Then he basically brought up he wanted to bring him on our operation, what we were doing. And apparently that was a joke, but it did feel like not more as a joke as it feel like he wanted that you know because they work good together and he's a good friend of him you know and i understand so probably that's what he thought was a joke okay uh i didn't yeah, want to little... bring on another guy from another gang per se into what i'm doing if that makes sense yeah i wouldn't do that it's like if i asked you to yo 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 i want to help you grow give me shit, and i'm like tied up with with, with a different organization yeah that on makes the zero sense. one end he said it was a joke but on the other end he wanted him to be his backup if he couldn't grow the stuff we needed i'm gonna be honest with you so i yeah i, that's I can understand where he comes from but then when i kind of like put everything together and say it how it is is what well, no it was was more like a joke so i don't know gonna be honest with you Ivan. i don't know and a couple of days after he wanted to leave the house as well so huh Okay, well, it's a lot less spicy than I imagined it would be. Oh well. <laughs> that is what it is. No, yeah. I I understood when he brought that shit up that I needed to cut ties because he is with another gang. I know that Dre is. He's always shown me that he's able to handle business and private. But then again, I cannot guarantee, you know? You can never guarantee. So. Yeah, and you want to be sure, like especially nowadays you just want to be sure in the people that they ain't gonna fucking do, pull some stupid crazy shit you know yeah so like I, I i don't think he would do that but at the same time i want to you know make sure that my operation is gucci and i'm nothing against ray or nothing like that i wish him the best in the future and he spread his wings and now he's with the manor and he's doing his thing but i felt like with what we were doing you know it was better to separate you know because He's in a he's in a gang. I'm in an organization. So instead of that become a conflict in the future, it's better to you know go separate ways and do our things and keep the yeah, friendship. It's you always, know? Yeah, it's always it's always better to just make things foolproof than to imagine uh, yeah. and, and that no one else would do something stupid. Because even you know it, I know it. There, there, yeah, there will be something now. in the future no matter what. Yep. Yep. 
that that makes sense, really. Yeah. I mean, so, as I said, none of this has any bearing on me. I'm I was just, I'm just a curious party in here, you know. No, but then again, I gotta be honest with you. There's not so much spicy. I think the only spiciness is like he's so eager to move out of this house. He wouldn't. It sounds like he wanted to move out of this house like a week ago, you know. Yeah, he called me yesterday asking for the buyout, and uh, I was holding Dom's money at the time, and she wasn't awake. Yeah. And uh, he said something that gave me the vibes of uh, him being really pressed. And I didn't clock it in immediately because I was doing something else at the time. But when I had some free time and I thought about it, I'm like, I had this conversation with him, and he seemed a little bit riled up. And now he's saying things like that. I'm like, let me let me drop a call to Rich just to make sure he's like he has a heads up just in case something does happen, you know? Because that, that that really didn't sound good. He's not a, it's not how he usually speaks about shit. He's usually like laid back and and like sure. And yep. there he seemed a little bit pressed. I don't think I've ever seen the press. No, like I haven't seen him either. And when he spoke to me as well, he like Dre never stutters. He's always crystal clear. But he's been talking with me like three days in a row, and every day is, he's been stuttering. He's been stressed. He's been. I was like asking him, like, is this a rush, you know, with the, with moving out, or can we take a couple of days, you know, to do it? No, it's not a rush. Then it, the next day is like calling around everybody to pay him the money, you know, straight up. So I was like, holy fuck, it's not a rush, but you're rushing it. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, mixed signals. That's that's a bad thing because you, you you don't know you don't know what to believe at that point. And fuck, yeah, and I don't know what shit. the reason behind it. You know what I mean? Because we haven't done anything. I haven't done him or harmed him or anything. You know, so I, I don't know why is this sudden rush. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. Oh well, uh, I'm sure he's gonna be alright. He got a bunch of people with him. He got uh, he got good people with him. Yeah, he's with the manor boys, you know. Happen. So. Yeah, listen, I, I ain't got anything against nobody, especially since I, I have no personal bearing in this. Me even talking about it is is kind of like overstepping a little bit, if you know what I mean, because nah. none of this is my business. So I know it's not your I business, have, but have. since you heard he said something, I feel like, you know, like at least, you know, from my end, you know, um, that's what's the thing, you know, it was nothing special, you know, I felt like it's better to stop it now before we need to stop in the future forcefully because there there's no hiding everybody knows the matter boys you know they they probably robbed every fucking entity in the city you know gang yeah, that point doesn't make civil people whatever business there is you know they, they go around and do that shit so like one or another like we will probably cross paths in the future definitely so, uh, like, if, if I was him as well, I would distance myself, but I would never leave a house like this because it would be good to have a place where I can do my shit and, like, get away if I needed to. Yep. Listen, it's always good to good to have friends. People be saying, ooh, but that's hand-holding and shit, but only people who get their shit easy without any actual mm -hmm. fucking effort put into it say that shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, trust, like, that's why I don't hold grudges and that's why I need to move forward. Like, back in the days, I hold grudges, but it will eat you raw inside if you do that. Eh, sometimes it's just, uh, maybe for a little bit until you get the, uh, your little uh, inside yeah, of frame course. satisfied, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be lying if I said I don't do that. Sometimes I do hold grudges, and that's just the way I am, bro. Like I, I, know. I, I don't forgive, I don't forget, I remember everything. For me, a person can can stop being an enemy to me, so to speak, a knob, if whatever good he does and his goodwill outweighs all the bad shit that happened. No, no, no. And at I, that point, I'm like reconsidering, you know. But I try not to focus too much about it. But do I forget if you done me harm? No. I never do. I will never do that. That is a part of me. You you, you know me. I will never do that, boy. See, it's that, more of a thing that's... like I can, I can, you can do me harm and you can say sorry and we leave our separate ways and not hold a grudge, you know, forever, you know, then I'm done. But I, can I ask you something? Um, sure. If you know two people. Yeah, let me know. What's their name? Uh, Kosny King and John Gray. Yeah, they're all speedy. They were speedy. Yeah, they're always speedy. We had, um, I shut them down recently. Uh, we were doing Sunny, and they were piping up like, like crazy. They they tried to rob uh, Cash JJ and some other person that was doing Sunny. So I got yeah. them down. Uh, I used my legal bleaky. So when cops came, I didn't even run their shit or nothing because you know I wanted to you know make a make a impression that I'm like a 
a law abiding citizen and whatnot. I had to give a statement, they took my blicky, they ran the ballistics. Now I have a blicky that if they ever shoot again, they know what's up, you know, and that's that's a fucked up part. Yeah, they're uh, Brits, aren't they? They're British? Yeah, they're 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 Brits. Uh they had an HQ chip uh that uh is under Cyprus, but they ain't selling shit there. That makes me think that they were speedy because you know, he's pushing shit up there. <laughs> oh, Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so the reason why I'm asking because I heard they were British. I heard as well that they've been rolling back in the days a little bit with the manor, but they didn't like them. Um, the reason why I'm asking is because uh, one friend of mine who is doing sanitation got to hold up by these two dudes. Most likely we think it's these two guys. That's uh, That's what we believe. There were four people in that. They, they took the guy I know and another guy with them. Uh, and they stole his phone, some food, and let materials and everything go. The fuck? So for me, it looks like a target hit on the person itself. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. tell you what. Uh, unless mm -hmm. they tried target to target the bolus as well. Because they did that to bolus as well. They did that. You know Denzel? Denzel? Uh, yeah, Zelda used to be in uh, BSK. Oh, then... Manor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He uh, he got a, his uh, fate run by them as well. He got his shit stolen, his phone nick, like with the SIM card. Uh, these boys are very sloppy and very new to the game. They don't know the um, etiquette to these things, right? Mm. So they did things that they they didn't necessarily mean to do. And some some people like boss and you know other entities they took it as unnecessary escalation. So they sought them out and they fucked them up. Uh, your guy isn't the only one. And uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, there was no resolution with the boss. But you need to ask them because you know I didn't exactly go to the boss and your boys. Uh, did you get yeah. your shit back from the dumb fuck? You know what I'm saying. I, I don't so these guys usually go around holding up fucking uh, sanitation workers and steal their phones for funs and giggles? I think this guy is just the speedy's goon that speedy uses to create chaos. I'm gonna tell you why. Because when he mm. robbed JJ and Cass, he said uh, some shit about six per uh, and yellow trucks. Now that thing is what Chang Yang uses on the material market to force the prices of the materials down. So yep. What essentially it boils down to is Speedy ordering a false flag operation to A, get some free mats, B, inside some chaos to make sure people hate Chang Gang, and uh, C, you know, just, uh, just to have some say in the matter because he doesn't yeah. see, you know, how he is. He likes chaos. Yeah, because from me, you know, like, I gotta be honest with you, how it looked from from my end was like okay i'm getting rid of you know one guy who is with the manor i have one other guy that's i wouldn't say close to me but a guy i know getting robbed from his phone from ex manor people i wouldn't say maybe they were not manor but they were like hanging with them a little bit well back but i heard yeah you're, you know, you're right that's a whole other story but yeah i'm i'm trying to put pieces together you know um then again, I have something else as well, but I don't want to talk about that. But, you, you know, like, I, I'm a paranormal motherfucker, you know? I just look into shit and see what it is. But you were telling me these guys are working down at Cyprus. That brings a whole new story. Oh, yeah. That's that's like a, that's like 99%. Like, I, okay. it's, it, it ain't a solid with me, right? Cause it's never a solid. But it's an assumption based on facts that cannot be ignored. And it's an assumption it of me that, as well to think it's these two guys who robbed, you know, my guy off his phone, but that was the two names we got, you know, out of the description and the, how the people operate. Yeah, I mean, I get that. It probably was me who said it, but, you know, this Cosmic King and his friends, he's probably got a, a little a little group of friends. He used to run with Man. Luke knows him. Uh, I think That's Luke was at one thing. Luke was at one point very close with the guys because they're kind of mm. they're, they're kind of like a little bit uh cuckoo in the head because they they do whatever they don't give a fuck you know okay but they do it to the wrong people people that are able to uh just master some force and fuck them up mm -hmm. and when it came down to manner claiming them they did okay
Hunter didn't claim him, le left him out uh, to dry, and I don't know if Luke still hangs out with these guys or not, but uh, you know, I'd be on the lookout for that. Yeah. All right, that is good. So, okay, so you telling me Speedy as well using these two guys to false flag per se as well with uh, rubbing JJ and Cassie said? Yeah, there was basically us doing fucking sunny in Mirror Park. I ha I happened to be there by accident. I wanted to link up with them to do some sunny as well. And I, I got at the tail end. We were just getting to their shit rinsed. And I had my blicky on him and I just gunned them down. Oh. So Speedy is using these two fucking goons then to send them out doing trouble, false flagging, making it look like it can be CG and it can be this or can be that. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I... You know Speedy. Speedy's a fucking snake. He'll no, no, always no, push shit that benefits him. Yeah. yeah. You don't need me to tell you. You know the guy better than I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's good it's information, you know? Usable. It's good information. It's not only it's good information, it's free information. Yeah, yeah, no, I will not mention your name, but I will definitely look into this shit because... This guy who they stole their phone from, you know, he's the fucking most nicest motherfucker you can meet in the entire world, you know, hasn't done, like, he will not hit the fucking fly, he will open the window and try to get the fly out, you know. We're not talking about the dragon, dude. No, not dragon, no. Yeah, that, that, that poor, that poor, that poor guy ate enough shit trying to run Sunny in the name, and Chang and kidding him fucking, yeah. fucking seven days to Sunday, it's actually crazy. Yeah, no, 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 it's not dragon, it's not dragon. Do you know a guy named Damon? I know a couple of demons. I, I I don't know if that's the guy. We he he, he does Sunny all day basically. He's a, he's the nicest dude you ever meet. Yeah, that's that's probably why I don't know him because you know yeah. if people are nice and I just leave him be because I know I can be like come up as an asshole every now and again. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Know. No, me as well. But the good thing, you know, like I always end up, you know, with a lot of nice people around me. That is the crazy part, you know. But yeah, he he he, up, he, he got his stole ba like his phone stolen. Like, I was like, did they take your materials? No, they didn't take shit. You know, like if it was a normal robbery, they would take your materials, take your phone, so you can call the cops. You know, I would understand. You know, it makes sense. They hold up four people, take my guy or not my guy, but my friend, and another guy. They rob the guy I know for his phone, some food, and let them go. That was it. Nothing else. That is, that is that is the dumbest shit anyone could do. Yeah. I, and then I would... it looks like, you know, you're taking his phone for a reason. You know, it looks like it's very targeted towards this guy. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're trying to have beef and you don't know what the beef is and you're trying to figure out what the fuck's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're yeah. trying to figure out something on this guy. You know what I mean? Like, he's a company yeah. guy, so... Fuck me. Yeah, I imagine with a bunch of people, uh, even if you try to keep your OPSEC high, there'll still be slip ups here and oh, there. Oh, no, no, no. It, it, it will be. It doesn't matter. You can't hide shit, you know? That is the dumbest shit. If you think you can hide stuff, you're fucked, basically. It's yeah. impossible. Can't really. I mean, we, we're here talking about this shit, we're getting so much fucking intel out of just yeah. living our life and having shit happen to yeah. us, you know? But it's good to know then. I, I gotta, um, yeah, I need to talk to somebody about this guy's then because it's good to know that these guys are running with Speedy. All right. Because yeah, if they do that's, shit that's in the okay. future as well, I know where it comes from, you know? Yeah, if it comes down to bringing up my name to have shit confirmed, just drop me a call and. No, no, no. You know me. I will like... never mention your name. If they want to ask me who I, it came from, I will talk to you first to say I talked to this guy. He wants to know where it comes from, you know, the information. Yeah, yeah. Then it's up to you if you want to no talk issues. to them or not. Yeah, because none of this comes comes back on 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 the organization I'm with, so I'm pretty much. Uh, who, who are you running on, with on right my now? Own. I'm running with Mary. Uh, I'm a part of uh, what is called the Kanashiro clan. Oh. Uh, I think Mary spends uh, her vacation time in in Japan, and she got very inspired by the Japanese culture. Right. And uh, that's the, that's the team we're running with. Uh, it's a very peculiar one, but I like how we do things. We keep things very smart and low key. That's why people uh, people don't recognize that we can uh, bite back sometimes. Oh, all right. So eventually, right. someone will learn. Okay, that is good. That is good. Well, like I said, you know, if you guys need anything, I can help you out with. You know, just call me, and I will do the same for you. And um, it was good chatting with you. Yeah, likewise, man. Likewise. Oh, yeah. Uh, one question. 
that thing that you brought up with weed, would you be okay with me asking other people if they'd be interested? Yeah, if... Uh, I gotta be honest with you, if you guys want to push and you guys want to have your own HQ connected to Sandy, talk to me, I will get you as much product you want, guys want. $18 a pop, it's the same price I pay for the product. Like I said, okay. um, I want the product on the turf, you know, pushed. I mean, if, if that's the only thing you care about, I'm sure somebody will definitely be interested in that. I know I'm interested in that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up doing it because, as I said, I'm, I'm, I only have two hands and there's so many paths I want to dip in. Mm -hmm. But, you know. No, but if you guys want to, like I said, we have the top strain. We have the top product, basically. And and you don't need the hassle to grow it or do anything. You pay 18 and you get as much as you want. Yeah, that's that's actually a good deal. That's actually a good deal. Yeah, so I, I don't like I, I try to have it differently from people from the outside coming in per se, but I don't see a need for it because, yeah, I can be greedy and make more money, but then nobody wants to take the deal because it's too much, you know, so. Fuck it, bro. Even if you even if you take the half of the brick, uh, people still make more money than they used to. It, it, it's still more mining than yeah. doing a surf job, but it's just a matter of cleaning issue, but you know. No, but I'm, I'm more, I'm more, I'm more wanted to make connections, you know, and uh, and with people, and make sure that the people who are doing the work on the streets are making the money it takes for the risk you're doing. I want to ask you something now, something else as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's definitely no way you would have capacity to clean someone else's shit, given that uh, you push so much of it. Mm -hmm. But if you do have somebody who takes care of the cleaning side and they happen to have a turbo Coyers blueprint for the advanced washing machine yeah and they china china maybe make some money off of it let me know that might be arranged because i'm looking for one person oh yeah we will probably use it ourselves though we have i think we yeah we have like 10 of those turbochargers and then we have like 30 or 40 other washes as well going every day I, for that shit, you, you need to buy a fucking warehouse to just clean this whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. I think everybody is getting the turbo they want to use it themselves, gonna be honest with you. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I hit that laundry mat again and again and again. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, yeah, I need to get out there to start working, so yeah. But yeah, just hit me up, you know, like... No matter how you want to do it, if they just want to get on an HQ that's already connected to the turf, we can arrange that. And if you guys want to get your own HQ connected to the turf, just tell me. It costs 10000 I think, to connect the HQ to the turf. But I can get you guys, you know, the product you guys need. All right. If you need that 1000 yeah, a day, I'll... I can get you 1000 a day. If you want, want 5000 a day, I can get you 5000 a day. So. I'll float that idea, see what people think. Uh, yeah. No promises, though, because, uh, you know, hey. I don't know what other people think and what's in their head. No, no worries. You do your thing, talk to them, and if there's a couple of boys who wants to get on, you guys don't want to get the turf there or whatever, like, I'm planning to connect this one we have in this house, you know, so I can just get you on that one and you can do your thing. All right, that's good to know. Much appreciated. Hell yeah. Appreciate the talk, right? Hey, anytime, man. All Hell right, yeah. we're going to dip. All right, we see got you around. work to do in the morning. All right, see ya.